Um, is salvation by faith alone or by faith plus works? Now, this is uh, perhaps the most important question in all Christian theology. This question is the cause of the Reformation, also the split between the Protestant churches and the Catholic church. And uh, this question is a key difference between biblical Christianity and most of the Christian cults. Is salvation by faith alone or by faith plus works? Am I saved just by believing in Jesus or do I have to believe in Jesus and do certain things? Now, the question of faith alone or faith plus works is made difficult by some hard to reconcile Bible passages. Compare, uh, let's check, uh, let's compare these verses. We see in the book of James 2.24, James says, You see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, when we see Romans 3.28, Romans 3.28, see what it says also. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Hmm, confusing. And also, Romans 5, 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm, faith. Galatians 3.24 Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. So now there seems to be a tussle between James and Paul. Paul is saying one thing, James is saying another thing. And uh, you see, some people see a difference between Paul, salvation is by faith alone, and James, salvation is by faith plus works. But uh, Paul dogmatically says that justification is by faith alone. Paul says it's by faith alone. He's so much about that. While, um, and James, salvation, somehow, it seems like he's saying there has to be some works. But uh, when we check very well what Paul tells us, because uh, remember one thing, we have to be very keen on how we interpret these Bible verses. See what exactly Paul tells us. Ephesians 2, uh, from 8 to 9. For by grace you are saved through faith, that is Paul speaking, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, he's refuting works, lest any man should boast. Uh -huh. But there's something which Paul says here afterwards, Ephesians 2.10, For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in, it, in them. You see, Paul has brought the aspect of works, is he trying to tell us something? And also, when you look at James, James also appears to be saying that uh, there have to be some works on your faith. Are they telling here? Are they telling here? Paul says it is by faith only. But then after that, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. So now the works have also come. Yes, Paul has said it's faith only, but now some works are coming. You see, while James appears to be saying that justification is by faith plus works, this apparent problem is answered by examining. You examine what exactly James is talking about. 
You see, James is refuting the belief that a person can have faith without producing any good works. You can't have faith and then you don't produce good fruits. Let's see what James is saying in James. James 2, 17. Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead, being alone. You see, he has not said that uh, faith has to have works, like uh, it's faith plus works which is saving you. He's saying faith, if it has no works, is dead, being alone. Yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works and I will show you my faith by my works. So my works are going to show you my faith. Are you seeing this? So James is emphasizing the point that genuine faith in Christ will produce a changed life and good works. And this one we can see what he's saying in 20 to 26. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Mm -hmm. You want to say that you have faith, but it is has no works. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered uh, 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 Isaac his son upon the altar? You see, the faith of Abraham was justified by what he was doing. He, he was so faithful to God that he had to sacrifice his son. So there was a, some work which proved his faith. Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed to, unto him for righteousness, and that he was called a friend of God. Are you seeing this? Then see how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. You have to show. You have to show. I am so faithful to Christ that I'm willing to live for him. But you see, people want to live like, uh, you know, you want to live like the devil all through and you claim that you're saved. It can't be. See, likewise also, was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. I don't know if you're understanding. Now, when you look at this, for those who are saying James and Paul, they are fighting, works no faith no you have to understand one thing james is not saying that justification is by faith plus works no he is not say, say that but rather that a person who is truly justified by faith will have good works in his own life if a person claims to be a believer but has no good works in his or her life, then he or she is likely does not have genuine faith in Christ. You can't say you're a believer and you have no good works. James 2.14, remember this. What does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he has faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Can you say, I have faith, but I don't follow Christ? Can you be a new creature with the old ways of life? It's not possible. Look at verse 17. Even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead being alone. Verse 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Can you say your body is alive and it has no spirit? No. Because faith and works have to go hand in hand. Are you understanding this? They have to go hand in hand. And it's really, really very, very, very important. Now, uh, there's something that we need to do. Paul says the same thing in, in his writings. The good fruit believers should have in their lives the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Okay? 
they should have these fruits, the fruits. Do you have these fruits? If you are a true believer by faith, do you have these fruits? Now, these fruits are the works. <laughs> I don't know if you're understanding the point. These fruits are the works. If you don't show these fruits, then your faith was fake. Galatians, Galatians 5, 22. C. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Again, as such, there is no law. So if you don't possess this, it means your faith was fake. You definitely have to make sure that you have these fruits. And these fruits are works. So immediately after telling us that we are saved by faith, not by works, remember what Paul told us? Immediately after that, in Ephesians 2.10, he says that we are created unto good works. We are created so that we can show these good works. That is Ephesians 2.10. And Paul expects us, just as much of a changed life as James does, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. So you cannot be a new creature with old habits. You can be a new creature with old habits. New creature. Old things are passed away. Old behaviors are passed away. Behold, all things become new. It doesn't mean that now you're new and that's it. You can't marry a woman and keep her on the shelf. You have to know her, know what she loves, know what food she loves, know how to interact with her, you know, talk together. You can't just say, I'm married, and that's it. You have to have some works on the same. We are created unto good works, Ephesians 2.10. So we have to show some good works to prove that for sure our faith was true. So now... The heart of the matter is that James and Paul do not disagree in their teaching. No. Regarding salvation, they don't disagree. They basically approach the same subject from different perspectives. Okay? From different perspectives. They are not fighting as people think. It's not a tug of war. No. Paul simply emphasizes that justification is by faith alone. While James puts emphasis on the fact that genuine faith in Christ will have to produce good works. Now, brothers and sisters, do you have good works? Are you walking with Christ? Are you doing good works to prove that you really love Christ? Are you walking with Christ because you're being created? You're being created unto good works. Do you have these fruits to prove that you really your faith was true? Or are you living like the devil all through the week and Sunday you carry your Bible and go to church and say, oh, I'm really saved. Faith without works is dead. And this video today has been able to help you to understand that you have to have some good works to prove your faith. I'm not saying that uh, you, you definitely, you know, you're saved by, faith, uh, by works. No. Works has nothing to do with salvation. But Good faith has to produce works. Are you saved? Do you love Jesus? In the first place, are you even saved? Because if you're not saved, then you'll be doing it all in vain. And the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. It's all about how Christ laid his life for us. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. When you understand why he had to do this for you so that... You can be replaced with him. You are supposed to be on that cross. But Jesus replaced himself. While he was still sinners, Christ laid his life for us. Believe the gospel. Believe what he did for us. And then once you believe, tell him in a prayer. Tell him, Jesus, this is what I believed. That's what is called confessing. Confess with your mouth what you believe. You can't confess what you don't know. Confess it out and tell Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you... 
2,000 years ago, you laid your life for me. And you were buried and you rose again the third day according to the scriptures. I believe this and I know you did it for me. And I trust you with all my heart, my soul, and my spirit, and everything that I am. And from today, I am a new creature. Give me the good works to show that I really love you. And once you do that, you believe and you confess it out. My brothers, you're new. You're a new creature. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Please, uh... Share the video, let other people be able to know. And also you can uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so that you don't miss a new video. Because we are doing new videos to edify the body of Christ each and every day. God bless you and have a blessed time.